What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. And today we got another movie review for you. This week I recently saw Terminator Dark Fate. Now, the best way to describe what Terminator Dark Fate is, it's essentially, it's not a reboot of the Terminator movies. It's a, sen it's a whole new breed of Terminator that was created from another distant future where the Terminator was sent to kill somebody. This particular Terminator, not Arnold Schwarzenegger, was still Danny Ramos. Now, Danny Ramos, from what we meet as the audience, just some random girl from Mexico City with her f brother, father, working in an automotive factory. This Terminator gets sent to kill Danny Ramos. We don't find out about the story behind Danny Ramos until midway through the movie. So there's a little bit of confusion that can be had as to why in particular was this Terminator going after her. Finding out about this midway through, it just makes no sense. It, 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 it's, it, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. The best way I can personally ex describe this movie, it was pretty much a Michael Bay wet dream where you got explosions galore, action galore, you name it. Essentially what it was, it was a shoot 'em up flick, it was a freaking it was the 4th of July on crack. But this Termin but this Terminator is going after Danny Ramos and the Sarah Connor to Danny Ramos is this human symbiote slash Terminator opponent named Grace. We find out in the movie that Grace knew Danny Ramos in the future where Danny Ramos, we find out, is essentially the counter-terroristic person behind getting rid of the Terminators. Because in their future, the Terminators take over. Now, in order to kill this new breed of Terminator, you need to just about EMP the living crap out of it, just to freaking kill it. Those of you who are not aware of what an EMP is, it's an electronic magnetic pulse which fries all basic electronics. So, you have Danny Ramos and Grace basically trying to save Danny Ramos in the past to ensure that she's around in the future to rebel against the Terminators. Then in comes Sarah Connor to help them because she's got the vendetta against the Terminators because the original Terminator, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, killed her kid. Which is where the story gets a little more interesting because apparently Grace has a code on her well it's not really a code it's more like a location to get the answers on how to eliminate the Terminators which leads them into the woods to a cabin now bear with me here because this is where it gets interesting where we now find a Terminator the Arnold Schwarzenegger one who has aged, greatly. Didn't think a robot could age, but they can. Who knew? Who now has a family, wife, kid, house, business. Mainly because he had no further mission objectives other than to kill Sarah Connor's kid. A badass killing robot. No further objectives other than to become a being of society whose image has been plastered all over destroying shit is now a family man in the woods. I call bullshit. I greatly call bullshit here. Now, not giving away the ending because I'm pretty sure you guys have an idea how it ends, but what did I truly think of this movie? It was good. It wasn't great. Was it necessary to the, ser the Terminator franchise? Not entirely. Do I believe this movie deserved the theatrical release? It did. Maybe to a smaller scale. But I've read articles and stuff saying that this movie is actually hemorrhaging the studio as far as the money that they put into it because it's not making what they put in. Nobody told your explosion budget to be over I don't know, fucking $600 million. The character development was there, it just wasn't there enough. Story-wise, 
There were a lot of questions. Mainly, how the hell did this Terminator get away with what he did? Arnold Schwarzenegger one, not the other one. I can't remember the actor's name who played him. My final scoring on this movie... Now, again, for my opinion regarding how the release should have been done, this was a movie that could have that could have easily just gone straight to Blu-ray, or hell, the friggin' studio could have gotten a deal with Netflix and it probably would have been fine. But needless to say, my final score on Terminator Dark Fate, I'm gonna give it a five out of ten because it, for what it was, it was literally just a grab at. Let's see if we can pull the people that were the fans of the Terminator back in the night, like the early '90s and whatnot. Because it wasn't a necessary movie for the franchise. I'm not saying it was a terrible movie. Not in the slightest. It's not a terrible movie. It could have been done better. Anyway, that was my opinion on the movie. If you feel otherwise or would like to contribute in the chat, feel free. And I will see you guys later today for my next video.